Hi, I'm John McDermott, and today I'd like to introduce you to the Windows Reliability Monitor. We need Windows Reliability Monitor to help ensure our systems are healthy and reliable in order to ensure their availability. Availability is part of the security CIA triad along with confidentiality and integrity. We also need the reliability monitor to troubleshoot some system issues. In the past, we've used Event Viewer for almost all of this, but Event Viewer can be difficult and confusing to use. Yes, there are some things one can only discover from Event Viewer, but many things can be discovered more easily and simply using Reliability Monitor. Reliability Monitor works on desktops as well as on servers. Today we'll look at it on my desktop. The easiest way to start Reliability Monitor is to open a command prompt and type perfmon slash rel. The rel is for the Reliability Monitor. This is the main window for Reliability Monitor. In the center is a multi-part window showing at the top of it a graph of the reliability of a system. The scale is 1 to 10 and you'll note that each time there is a critical issue, for example here and here, the reliability decreases. The issues are broken down into five categories, application failures, windows failures, miscellaneous failures, warnings, and information. The top three show up as critical, which is a red circle with a white X. The next category is warnings, which shows up as a yellow triangle with an exclamation mark. And the information uses a blue circle with a white eye in the center. You can scroll this graph to show particular dates. Here I've shown April 26th, which has an application failure, a warning, and some information. If we look at the bottom, we can see the critical events, my PDF reader stopped working, a warning, Microsoft's, Microsoft Sticky Notes failed the Windows Update, and some informational events about Windows Update and driver installations. You can see the dates that these occurred, these critical events or warnings or informational events, and an action you can take. You can view details or check for a solution. Let's try and check for a solution to my Foxit Reader crash. Well, there's no solution found. That's what I would expect because Foxit Reader is not a Windows application. I can look forward to May 19th and you'll see that I installed two new drivers. I actually updated them but updating drivers shows up as an installation here. I can view the technical details but they really aren't that exciting for a driver installation. I really can't read all those codes and interpret them directly without some kind of assistance. So you can click on any date to get more information about what occurred on that date. No reports on the 21st of May, but on the 22nd, you can see there were a lot of problems. I hope this brief introduction to Windows Reliability Monitor has helped you find an easier way to diagnose and troubleshoot your system instead of going through Event Viewer, which can be quite confusing. Thank you very much.